Are you and your significant other looking for an app to help you manage your money together? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Zeta, including some of its best features. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including app and tool reviews like this one. It's no secret that one of the top sources of fighting between couples is money. Therefore, it makes sense that, with the numerous personal finance apps that now exist, some would be geared directly towards partners looking to communicate about and manage their money better. That's exactly the idea behind Zeta, which is a free budgeting and finance tool for significant others. So how does it work? Let's take a look at what you need to know about Zeta and some of its key features. The first thing to know about Zeta is how to set up all of your accounts and select which partners can see which information. Like many personal finance apps, Zeta allows users to link their banking and credit card accounts to view all of their transactions and balances in one place. However, something that's a bit different is that you can label these accounts as shared, personal, or private. Selecting shared will allow you and your partner to view balances and transactions for that account. Meanwhile, choosing personal will only allow your partner to see the balances of that account, while private will restrict them from seeing accounts altogether. In other words, choose wisely. Next, once you have your accounts linked, you'll be able to view all of your transactions and communicate with your partner via memos. Under the Transaction tab of Zeta, you can browse purchases you've made using your linked accounts. You'll notice that these also have a hashtag under them, which will come into play a bit later. Tapping a transaction will not only give you the ability to view more information, but will also allow you to add a memo. Here you can add notes for yourself, tag a partner and ask questions, and more. Conveniently, you can also view all of your memos in one place under the aptly named Memos tab and respond to your partner if necessary. This makes for an easy way to discuss finances and ensure that everything is in order. Another one of my favorite features in Zeta is their Bill Due Date Calendar, which offers plenty of customization options. Even the best of us can forget about certain build due dates from time to time, which is why it's always nice to have a reminder. Enter Zeta's calendar feature found under the Bills tab. At first, the calendar will actually be pre-populated with recurring bills Zeta identifies in your transactions. From there, you can customize what items should appear, who should be alerted about upcoming due dates and how they should be alerted, and even mark each bill with an emoji to make it stand out on your calendar. Even if you have some of these bills set to auto pay, I still found that seeing when those transactions would hit to be a nifty feature. Finally, Zeta's app does allow you to build a custom budget and track your progress, although I'd actually recommend getting this set up over on the desktop site. As I mentioned, transactions in Zeta will automatically be tagged based on merchant data. Those tags will come in handy as you set up your custom budget. The only problem that I found is that the process of setting up a budget in the app can be a bit clunky. For example, I felt like the tool used for adding new categories to include in your budget operated more like a web page than an app and made it somewhat difficult to scroll through the different options. That said, you could search for tags by typing and can even create new categories if you wish. I did find that the process of setting up your Zeta budget was made easier by visiting the Zeta website on your desktop computer. Luckily, once you do this, you should be able to keep tabs on your budget via the app without issue. Overall, I think Zeta has some really helpful features for couples of all stripes to manage their money together. While I'd like to see a couple of tweaks to the app's user interface, I like where Zeta's heart is at. In particular, I think that the memos functionality and the billing due date counters are standout features that make this app worth trying. Hopefully this gives you a better idea of what Zeta is all about, but for much more on the app, I'll have a link to my full written review on Dire News in the description box down below. Also, if you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.